Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. It might be a while before you guys actually see this actual vlog um, because I've kind of been making them in bulk uh, recently. Uh, but today, um, I'm actually going to go check up on the Malibu to see exactly how the oil level's been doing, especially with the sea foam in there. I'm kind of curious to see how that looks. Um, it's been pretty much a, almost a week uh, since I've done the oil change in that car. So right now, I'm actually waiting for my food in the McDonald's parking or drive through <laughs> I'm at the McDonald's where all of the high school kids seem to hang out. This seems to be the hot spot <laughs> nowadays. Thanks, you too. I haven't eaten all day pretty much so I'm starving so this is the closest place next to my mom so that's why I'm getting it. Hello. Hi. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. camera's probably not in a very good spot, so if I make a turn, I'm probably going to lose it because it's kind of sitting in the little cubby spot on my dashboard where the driver information center, or the radio information center is. So I'm probably going to lose it here in a second. Take it slow, and oh, you stayed. So I'm going to eat, and then we will go ahead and check up on the uh, oil level of the car and see just in general how it's been holding up. Um, for those of you who, try to take this turn nice. For those of you who haven't seen that vlog, it was actually the very first vlog that I made for this video series. Well, it started off with um, a leak and I thought maybe it was gonna be engine oil, uh, but it wasn't. So the, the car had oil in it, I checked the oil level. It was low, um, but at the time the car had sat for days, it didn't look like it was extremely low. Well, once you run it for a little bit, once you run it for a little bit, it turned out to be severely low. But it turned, <laughs> this is awesome. It turned out to be transmission fluid. So the transmission cooling lines are actually what went wrong with the car. Um, but that in turn, when we had it at the mechanic shop, he said that the car is actually burning oil. Um, and I guess it's something that the, the Ecotech engines are prone to over long periods of time. So basically I had to keep up with it. He recommended that I put the Seafoam engine treatment in it. And, um, and I did, I did that with the oil change. So I put a third of the bottle into it, which is what he recommended. So like I said, it's been a week, I just wanna, s it's been a week and I just want to see how it's how it's holding up. Okay, so here we are again. Guys, I'm really disappointed. Oh, you can see where the training fluid was. Look at these headlights. The condensation has returned. <sighs> just after after like a week of from when the last time I saw the car. Not very happy. I wonder if I'm gonna fall. This is very AC here. Uh, the car's been sitting for the majority of the day. Let's see how this looks. It's already got a darkness to it after after a week, so let me put the camera down so I can actually check the level. Alright, so right now it is still full. Eh, it's gonna drip. Still full, so that's good. Can't believe the color already. It's not exactly as 
clear as it was when I put it in, so that sea foam must really be doing a good job. Put the keys back in my pocket. Charlie Brown. Okay. CD player. I'm gonna have to change it soon. Factory stereo, it's doesn't always pick the CDs up right away. I can hear it trying to spin it now, it's probably gonna spit the CD out. Oh, okay, it found it. Twenty seven point six miles since the last oil change. Like I said, this has been a really good car. Um, the transmission cooling lines were was the first major repair that ever had to be performed on this car since we've had it. We've had it since like April of 2006, I think is what it was. So we bought it at two years old. It had about 38,000 miles on the clock when we bought it. It's now over 103,000, so it's it has held up pretty well. Um, it does need a motor mount. That's something that has been put off for a while, actually. It needs to be done soon. These taillights, they don't... The taillights look like they're okay. I don't see anything building up in them. So, that's good. I still have to fix that bulb in that one. But, um, the only other thing that's been done with this car uh, was the muffler. Muffler. So the muffler was done over this past summer. Not a serious issue. I don't consider that to be serious. Uh, the car was just, you know, getting loud. Uh, so the muffler had rusted out toward the top and we had it replaced. So yeah, the transmission cooling lines were the first thing to go as far as a serious issue. And as you can see, it sounds really good compared to the last time we heard it on this vlog after I let it run for a while with the transmission uh, fluid leaking out of it. Once the low oil started circulating, there wasn't enough, so it started ticking. It was down quite a bit of oil, so that's why I'm making sure that it's still in good shape. So yeah, we need a motor mount. Uh, what else did I replace? I placed the belt, replaced the belt um, within this past year. Uh, the other, the belt actually broke. Uh, yeah, the belt broke in half while it was here in the driveway. So it ran the battery dead. Uh, air conditioning has been recharged a couple times. Uh, Got to get rid of this deck tool. I, I keep telling her that that's something that we got to get done soon before it starts to eat away at whatever gaskets are here. Battery's been replaced twice, I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, other than regular maintenance issues, nothing serious up until the transmission lines. It's been a really good car. <laughs> Couldn't stop it now. One other interesting thing. Oh, look at that. I'm so bummed out over that. Oh, this one's terrible. I don't know. There must be some other thing there. I can't do anything about it. The only other issue that we've had with it, cosmetically, is for some reason, this quarter panel looks terrible. Uh, this happened not maybe about a year ago. It 
it's really weird because it looks like something actually actually scratched up against the car. Like, look at that. It's like something just went on down the side, and now the the clear coat and stuff's coming off of it. The actual paint has been coming off in several spots, and no idea why. No idea why. The rest of the car is actually in really good shape. Um, it's not forming rust anywhere toward the bottom or anything. It's, it's doing good, but this quarter panel, no idea. No idea what caused that. Alright. Ah, clear pavement. That's always good. What is that? <laughs> okay, so I'm done with that. Um, I'm gonna go home now. And, uh, I'm excited because it probably aired already <laughs> at this point. Um, but I, I made a video, I made a vlog on uh, the history of my Aztec um, as part of my, uh, you know, kind of reminiscing about all the cars that I've owned and such and I was missing a very crucial part of my history when it came to the Aztec and that was basically a folder that included all kinds of awesome important information um, such as maintenance records and window sticker and all this stuff well after days and days of searching you know I was here at my mom's because I still have stuff everywhere from all the times that I've moved but I finally found my Aztec, get it, tech, <laughs> my Aztec folder, and this has all of my um, service information, here's the window sticker, yeah, I'm so happy that I found this, I thought, I was starting to think that maybe it was gone for good. Now I get to go home, and I'm going to re-edit the vlog because at this point in time it has not been published yet so I still have time to fix it. And we basically got food and then we checked out the um, Malibu Classic as far as its oil situation which is still top notch and I found my folder so that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to also check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight which is the official vehicle touring segment that I put on this channel. And you guys have a great day. I will see you guys next time. Take care.